hello everyone this is a problem asked in one of the j advanced and i hope if you are watching this you would have tried this once and if there is some confusions i hope by watching this one you will get a better idea about how things are happening here so let's try and solve this problem in this problem we have a rotating disk and a particle on it and they are also describing that the coordinate system which is fixed to the rotating disk is as shown like say we have along the slot we have positive x-axis taken positive x-axis and this is positive z-axis according to the given description then if this is x and this is z then this direction should be like positive y direction so we are using right-handed coordinate system then we are also like dropping position vector from the origin to this particle and that would be our r by 2 times of i cap that's the given information initially at t equals 0 this is what it is then if the particle starts moving it will be moving along the direction of the positive x-axis that is with the velocity v rotational in a moment you will get to know this okay so they have given the force experienced by the particle in this rotational frame is given by f rotational this is the force expression this is a net force acted acting on it that rotational force is given by this one and which is in turn equal to inertial forces plus 2m v rotational cross omega plus m omega cross r cross omega this is a force expression that they have given now let me just break this one into three components so this is anyhow f inertial they have given and let me write this one is f dash force f dash force and this one as f double dash force okay there are three forces f inertial f in plus f dash and f double dash which is in turn equal to f rotational okay now let's try and visualize the system suppose if you consider the question we need to identify the distance r of the block at a time t okay the net reaction of the disk on the block is is our question so there are options we'll see whether we arrive at that particular options so from our chord origin okay we are dropping a position vector right that position vector is dropped in this way i'm highlighting that here is the position vector dropped okay and we are naming that position vector with an r direction let's say r cap okay that's given information and if this body has mass m so let's try and visualize this here suppose if this is positive x-axis then this is positive z-axis this would be positive y-axis suppose if i visualize there is this mass kept such that this direction upwards is positive z-axis and this side is positive x-axis then into the screen would be positive y direction okay now we do have forces acting on it that forces are represented like this if mg force is acting in this way mg force the particles force let me write small mg small mg force is acting downwards then to counter this mg the disk has to offer the normal reaction upwards or else this block will penetrate into the disk right so it has to be suitably strong enough to give that reaction so magnitude wise n should be equal to mg and direction wise suppose if you think of direction it should be magnitude times the direction direction is along k cap so this is the force offered by the disk to counter mg's like action on it okay meaning mg is the force is supposed to move downwards but disk is avoiding that motion by offering force on the particle upwards so the net force on the disk in the z axis is becoming zero okay then going further suppose if we observe the story of second component which is f dash i told f dash is 2m v rotational cross omega right so 2m v rotational cross omega so v rotational here if you observe v rotational v rotational will be along the x-axis 
because as the particle starts moving it will start moving radially outwards and why it will move radially outwards you will get to know in a moment so as if we take v rotational along the x axis radially outwards okay then we can write omega is already given as along the positive z axis right so v rotational cross omega would be acting along the negative y axis so this is the direction in which 2m times or v rotational cross omega would be acting v rotational cross omega would be acting along the negative y axis negative y axis so th that should be taken care so if we take care of that then v rotational this particular f dash value would be 2m v rotational times omega because magnitudes we are considering the angle between them is anyhow 90 v rotational and omega the angle between them is 90 degrees right so sine 90 is 1 and the direction of f dash f dash direction is acting along the negative y axis so i'm gonna write minus of j cap so as a consequence this is supposed to move along the negative y axis but it is placed in a slot right so it is not free to move so there should be a normal reaction offered by the disc on the particle along the positive y direction only so to visualize this again i'm considering imagine this is a slot we have this is a block which is placed this is a top view okay top view so with respect to top view point of view just observe if this is positive x-axis then z-axis is outside like say outside the screen and y-axis would be in this way positive y-axis now you can use right-handed coordinate system to check once again like how things are suppose if v rotational is in this way v rotational is in this way then omega would be outwards right omega would be outside omega would be outside so omega v cross omega would be acting along the negative y direction so this is the direction in which we have f dash would be acting f dash now we if f dash is acting in this way then you know that the normal direction offered by the disk let me name it as n dash so n dash should be countering the f dash vector right so n dash fellows magnitude is exactly equal to f dash but in terms of direction n dash would be the same magnitude as that of f dash but along j cap direction okay now suppose if we know this v rotational value then we can easily place that here so let me take n equals mg n vector equals mg times of k cap this is equation one and n dash equals 2m v rotational omega times j cap is equation 2 okay if we want we'll use this later okay then going further we'll think of the role of f double dash so f double dash is m omega cross r cross omega right so i'll be considering f double dash as m r cross omega again cross omega r cross omega again cross omega right so we'll take this here for analysis see r cross omega r is the position vector omega is along the positive z direction so r cross omega r cross omega would be along r cross omega would be along the negative y direction then we do have um, that r cross omega which is along negative direction again cross with omega correct so let me check oh sorry this is not r cross omega i was this is omega cross r let me correct this please observe if it is omega cross r omega is upwards cross r in this way so omega cross r would be along the positive y direction this is the direction in which omega cross r would be acting then again omega cross r cross omega so again if you take omega cross r's vector that vector with omega we will have the motion the force f double dash would be acting in this direction radially outwards so that's the reason we have v rotational its speed will increase 
with time along the positive x axis okay so we know that the magnitude of f double dash would be m omega squared r and this would be along positive x axis positive x axis correct now we'll try and solve because you can see here the forces n and mg are cancelling and f dash and n dash are cancelling so this f double dash is unbalanced as a consequence the particle starts moving and its speed also changes in that direction so the speed is given by v rotational and the direction is along positive x-axis suppose if this force is acting we know that v rotational keeps on increasing so let's try and find the solution of it okay so here we have conclusion like this so in this direction we have v rotational and this is a distance so we got this idea like d square r by dt squared a times m this is acceleration times mass f net unbalanced force is given by f double dash which is m omega squared r right m omega squared r now let's try and simplify this d square r by dt squared being equal to m omega squared times r dear students this one if it was minus here we know that it would be oscillatory solution and it is just like simple condition for simple harmonic motion but here it is positive right so there is a procedure to solve this but as of now i'll be directly giving like the solution so you can verify whether it is correct and satisfy the equation or not so r is going to be a times e power omega t plus b times e power minus omega t where a and b are unknown so i hope like some students will be wondering like suddenly how do i get this one so there is a procedure to solve second order differential equations so we'll take d by dt as d and we'll write d squared minus of omega squared r equals zero and we'll consider this one as a character characteristic equation whatever the solutions we'll get for this quadratic equation right that will be taken as e powers so that is a procedure to solve second order differential equations so as of now you can check like this if this is the function if we double differentiate this and check it has to reduce back to this one right so you can try and you'll realize that it will satisfy this particular equation okay so this is the possible solution but a and b we have to find it find it for the given situation because this is just a general solution so we'll can get the value of a and b for this given arrangement okay so we know that this is a second order differential equation we need two boundary condition to solve this problem so they have given at t equals zero position is exactly equal to r by two distance and speed is also zero so v rotational is the notation we they are using and we are considering that v rotational equals zero initially at t equals zero so using this information here r at t equals zero meaning r of zero would be a plus a e power zero plus b e power zero right so it is a plus b correct if r if r at initial condition which was r by two value equals a plus b so this is one equation now let me call this as equation two then then we have velocity so velocity we can get by just dividing this sorry in differentiating the r value with respect to time so we name this one as v rotational so let's differentiate the function r so r dr by dt is a omega e power omega t minus b omega e power minus omega t so let's put the values so here before we substitute values let me call this as equation 3 and we can use this one whenever we need v rotational okay so at t equals 0 we have at t equals 0 v rotational was 0 and a omega minus b omega right so from this we'll get a equals b so using this information in equation 2 we'll get r by 4 equals a value or even b value so with this we got like position or distance of the particle with respect to time so we'll substitute in this equation 
and our r equation here okay we'll substitute in that so r being equal to a equals r by 4 and even b equals r by 4 we'll have e power omega t plus e power minus omega t so you can check out the options we have r by 4 e power omega t plus e power minus omega t here fourth option so this is like the right solution for distance of distance r of the block at any time t okay then going further we need to find out the normal reaction right that's the question the net reaction of the disc on the block we anyhow know that the forces acting on it we already figured this one right equation one okay let me write this is like equation one and equation let me say that both of them together is equation one okay so let's because i already mentioned somewhere here as equation two so that's the reason okay right if this is equation one then we know that the normal reaction is given by total net normal reaction offered by the disc would be n plus n dash right so this is anyhow mg times of k cap and n dash n dash we have 2m v rotational omega j cap 2m v rotational v rotational omega j cap omega j cap okay so we need to substitute v rotational value here so v rotation we got from equation 3 that it is a omega e power omega t minus b omega e power minus omega t anyhow a and b values are same a value and b value are same and a and b values r by 4 so let me take r by 4 omega outside so r by 4 omega if i take it outside it is e power omega t minus e power minus omega t so this is what we have so the net normal reaction turns out to be mg k cap plus so we can write m omega squared r by 2 times e power omega t minus e power minus omega t this is acting along j cap so we'll check whether this option exists so we have mg k cap and m omega squared r by 2 e power omega t minus e power minus omega t so this would be the right answer okay so i hope you understood this problem like how to solve this one if you have any doubts or something you can post it in the comment section i will be happy to help you guys thank you